How are you doing guys? Kevin Paver here for GolfShape.com and we're in for a treat today because we're here with Peter Dawson, uh, Ryder Cup player, European Tour player, PGA Master Professional. Welcome. Thank you, Kevin. Great to, nice to and, be here. And a lovely to talk to you. Nice and to talk we're to here you. today, Peter, to talk about, you've got a book out, yeah. um, now for the back nine, and it's, um, it's a book that's a bit different to anything else that's out there on the market, I think, because this is a book that's aimed for the senior golfer, right? Yep. Primarily. Primarily, but it's, it's for the people like myself who've, who've, who are losing um, the elasticity in the body. Yeah. We're losing the flexibility. Mm. Uh, and I mean, you know, we've, we've had a look through this book and this book, um, Andy Pickham, one of our ambassadors, has reviewed this book and absolutely loves it. So nice uh, I'll put hear. a link in the description for the actual full review of that book, which you can read. Um, so what was the inspiration behind the book? What, how did this come about in the first place? Well, it came about, oh, a good three years ago, Kevin. I was doing some articles for Golf Monthly, right. some bullet points for instructional. And when I finished, I thought, gosh, I've just written this for the average 35-year-old mm. who's supple, is, is athletic, but I can't actually do half of what I've yeah. just written. So I, I thought, hang on a minute, I'm going to write something specifically for the less supple and the senior golfer mm. and so as I'm now one of those I'm afraid I've got a foot in both of those camps I can now talk about it and anything I've talked about and, and advised the technically in the book I've tried it yeah. and there's been a lot of techniques I've thrown on the on the scrap heap because it hasn't worked mm. um, but everyone in that book has been tried and tested and it's good it isn't just a a quick fix. Everyone yeah. is there for, for, for life. Yeah, and, and in terms of some of the people that have um, contributed, I suppose, with some of these tips are with you uh, from your playing career. There's some pretty impressive names in here as well, aside from yours, of course. Well, I've been very, very lucky, extremely lucky. I would, I to, to actually sit down and say you've played with players who have won over 46 majors, mm. you know, Faldos, the Ballesteros, the Langers, the uh, Greg Normans, these people, yeah. and Gary Players and Tom Weisskopf. And you think, if I can't, if I haven't learned anything from playing those people, mm. something's wrong. And it's lovely to pass on that that sort of information when you talk to Tom Watson, um, as I've said in the book about certain tips and rhythm, um, and you can't pass that on. Yeah, it's a yeah, sad, sad situation. Yeah. I love to pass that sort yeah. of thing on. Yeah. It's nice. And and I think what's really nice about this book, whilst it is for the senior golfer, actually, for people like, so I'm, I'm 44, uh, I, there's so much stuff in this that actually, that's relevant to me as well, because I, I can't turn, I don't have that same turn that I might have had when I was 25, you no. know? And that's happening to, so if you're taking up, you know, there's a lot of people who take up golf quite late in life. Yeah. Actually, this is probably a really good place well, to look for some tuition, isn't it? I think so. It's, the feedback I've been getting has been absolutely fantastic. Better than I ever thought. Yeah. And to actually marry it into the anecdotes and different things all the players have played with mm. and life stories, it's, it's for everybody. Yeah. And as you say, as you're getting stiff and less supple, you can't do what we're being taught. I could go for a lesson with a young 25-year-old pro mm. and he asks me to turn 90 degrees. I can't do that anymore. Yeah. So I've got to find ways of adapting physically to the golf mm. swing. And that's what the book is all about. And so, one question, put you on the spot. What is, the, what is your favourite drill or tip within the book that you think that you get when you're working with senior players what, what is the one that just really connects with them and the one that they go, actually, I mean, it's obviously going to be different for every yeah. golfer, but generally, yeah. you usually find that there's one thing that people go, wow, that's a that's, game changer for me. The feedback so far I've got is the one where I'm hitting the wall with the palm of the bottom hand. Yeah. It's, it's visually, you're pushing against the wall where your head's moving, your chest is punching the wall. Um, I've had great feedback and people said, well, I do this in the kitchen, I do mm. this... Um, just in the house, I don't have to go outside, and I get a wonderful feedback. They're saying to me, I can physically see how I have to hit it with my chest Brilliant. and my weight. Um, it's not, oh, you mustn't break your wrist, you mustn't do this, you mustn't do that. You're just saying, you go with the natural movement, going forward, back foot, front foot, punch the wall. Yeah. That's the, the one big um, mm. advice that's really worked yeah. successfully. Fantastic. And, and we must just quickly talk about uh, your Ryder Cup experience so you're you're still to this day the only left-handed player to have played 
Yep, to this the, day. To this day. I think for, it will change in the next couple of seasons, but to this day, I can. The pub quiz at, uh, <laughs> on Christmas. That's the pub quiz. That's the pub quiz. Who was the first yeah. ever to play the Ryder Cup left handed? And of course, naturally, people say Phil Mickelson. Um, but there was one fellow before him. Yeah, that's, that's a good sell. <laughs> so it's rather nice, and I've held that sort of thing for over 40 years now. Fantastic. So it's, um, it's quite a nice accolade. Brilliant. Well, look, Peter, it's been absolutely fascinating uh, spending some time with you today. We have filmed some tuition tips here with Peter as well, so we will be putting those on the YouTube channel. So make sure you watch out for those tips. But yeah, thoroughly recommend getting this book. In terms of buying it, where do people... Where can they get hold of this book? They I've can, seen it's on Amazon, isn't it's it? It's on Amazon, and we've also got our own website now for the back nine .co .uk. Yeah. Yeah. You can order it through there. Great stuff. Well, look, thanks so much for your time today, Peter. So, guys, I hope you found that interesting. And seriously, go and check out the review of this book uh, and go and check out this book for yourselves because I think, you know, regardless of your skill set or your age, I think this book could really be useful for you. So, hope you enjoyed that video. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the button down there and subscribe for loads more content like this, including some forthcoming videos with Peter himself. So, hope you enjoyed that, guys, and we will speak to you again very soon.